Hi, so today we are going to learn divisibility rule of 7. That means how to check if a number is divisible by 7 or not. So this divisibility rule actually applies to numbers which are 4 digits or more. Right? So the numbers in thousands and above can be checked by this rule if they are divisible by 7 or not. Right? So if a number is 3 digits or less, you can divide and check and I think it is easier to divide and check if the number is smaller right so no problem for bigger numbers only we need divisibility rules so the rule says difference between the numbers formed by last three digits and the number formed by rest of the digits should be divisible by seven right so let's take a number so the number I'm going to take is two seven four four it is a four digit number so we can have a number formed by three digits and the number formed by rest of the digits right so the numbers are two and seven hundred and forty four right so we have got the numbers 744 is a number formed by last three digits and two is a number formed by rest of the digits right these are the last three digits and after this anything even if you have numbers in millions or billions they will be considered in rest of the digits right so we have got two numbers first is 2 and then we have 744 right and what is the next step next step is we have to find the difference the difference between difference between the number formed by last three digits and the number formed by rest of the digits should be divisible by 7 so what we do when we find the difference yes we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and the larger number over here is 744 right and if I subtract 2 from this 4 minus 2 is 2 4 and 7 we are getting 742 and what is the next step yes the next step is we have to divide this 742 by 7 and we should get 0 as our remainder right so next step I am doing here 742 let me divide it by 7 7 ones are 7 if I subtract I get 0 right and next step I have to note this 4 down okay this 4 is smaller than 7 so it cannot be divided by 7 so I'll put a 0 over here and note this 2 also down so it becomes 42 right and 7 6 are 42 and here we are getting remainder as 0 after subtracting 42 from 42 right so this proves that 742 is divisible by 7 right and if this rule is correct this 2744 should also be divisible by 7 so since this is a, this is a four digit number I think we can try our normal route to check whether it is divisible by 7 or not so we will divide it by 7 and we should get 0 as our remainder so I'm erasing all this right so what we have to do now yes we have to divide 2744 by 7 7 3s are 21 and if we subtract 7 minus 1 is 6 I'll note this 4 down 7 9s are 63 and if I subtract I'll get 1 and now I'll note this 4 down making this number as 14 and 7 2s are 14 0 so we have got 0 as the remainder right and this is the quotient and since we have got 0 as remainder this proves that 2744 is divisible by 7 right that means our rule of divisibility holds good over here and now I'm going to take one more bigger number and we'll check its divisibility 
So the number I'm going to take this time is 311500, zero, zero. right? So if we see the last three digits, it is 500 and the rest of the numbers is 311, right? And what is the next step? Yes, we have to find the difference. And how do we find the difference? We will subtract smaller number from the larger number. So the larger number is 500. And if I subtract 311 from this, this one is bigger than zero, so it cannot be subtracted. So I have to borrow something from this number at tens place, but this is also zero. So I cannot borrow anything from here. So finally, I have to borrow one from hundreds place and this will make it as 10 tens, right? And now I can borrow one from here and this will become 10 and this 10 will become 9 and this 5 over here will become 4. And now I think we can perform subtraction. So 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, 4 minus 3 is 1, right? So we have got 189 as the difference. And what is the next step? Yes, we have to divide this 189 by 7. And if this 189 is completely divisible by 7, this 311,500 will also be divisible by 7. So for that, we have to divide 189 by 7 and check. 7 2s are 14 minus 8 minus 4 is 4, 0. I'll take this 9 down and this will become 49 and 7 7s are 49 and 49 minus 49 gives us remainder as 0, right? So this 189 is divisible by 7, right? And to verify our divisibility rule, we'll try and check if this number which is 311,500 is divisible by 7 or not. So let's do that. So we have 311,000 and then we have 500, right? And what we have to check, we have to divide it by 7 and see whether this is divisible by 7 or not. So first number over here is 31, 7 fours are 28. And now if I subtract, 11 minus 8 is 3, right? And I'll note this 1 down. Again, it will be divisible by 4 times. And 7 fours are 28. And if we subtract now, 11 minus 8 is again 3. And this time, I have to note this 5 down, making it 35. And 7 fives are 35. And 35 minus 35 gives us 0, right? And if we note this down, 0, it is not divisible by 7. So I'll put one more 0 over here. And then I'll note this down, which is one more 0. And again, it is not divisible by 7. So I'll put one more 0, right? Leaving these three zeros, which is actually equal to 0 as remainder, right? So in this case also, this divisibility rule is functioning. That means we can check the divisibility by 7 using this rule. And what is the rule? The difference between the number formed by last three digits and the number formed by rest of the digits should be divisible by 7.